Welcome back to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth. Online, find us at zinniawealth.com. All right, you remember back when the UAW went on strike last year, John Lawler, the CFO of Ford, was saying, as the people were saying, we want our pensions back. And he was saying, we can't do pensions anymore. That's a plan Mm -hmm. of the past. And so they offered a beefed up 401k match instead of 3%, we'll go 5% or something like that. Well, the workers weren't buying it. They said, we need a paycheck when we retire from this place. So in the end, the workers agreed to an annuity option in their 401k that would build their own personal pension. We Wait, love a bad, a bad word. Annuity. They annuity. An yeah, annuity? That, that's what they what? said. Yeah. Wow. We love the idea of a pension, but the 401k just doesn't provide it. So one hmm. of the options that we really do need to look at outside of the pension is an annuity. So Cherise, talk about have, have you seen anybody come in with a 401k that has that annuity option? We've been talking about it probably for two years. I still don't know anybody who's got one. And no, they don't, which is really interesting to me because Ford had amazing pensions. This is why these people mm-hmm. there that they've been there for a long time and they know other people who had a pension sure. and those people had a pension. It was just an annuity. And these people are begging for an annuity. I mean, a pension is just called an annuity. That's mm-hmm. what the lump sum goes into. Right. And it's interesting that they're begging for annuity, but the people who come in and I that see me, they have a 401k. They're like, no, I don't want a stinking annuity. <laughs> <laughs> but the people who know how they work and have seen other people use them correctly, they love them. So sometimes we just don't know what yeah. we don't know. So most 401ks that come in here, I have seen zero annuities. Interesting. If you have a TIAA CREF, that's a different type of annuity. It's actually one of the worst kind of annuities in the country, that TIAA and how it works and how it's illiquid. It's very annoying and it's been a thorn for the last 20 years of my life and most people don't even understand how that annuity works. So when these 401ks start building in these annuities, I'm going to really want to know, how do they work? Do they work anything like that TIAA? I am going to say, I'm going to knock it. You know, Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to dog it because Mm -hmm. it's an unfortunate event how that TIAA works. So I don't think 401ks even understand how they're going to do it. And if they do do it, I don't even know if they know what the rules are going to be 10 and 20 years from now when you retire. So I would want to really know the data because there's annuities out there that don't have anything to do with 401ks that you can save in that are very flexible, that are very liquid, that can guarantee the income streams and or just be a bond replacement. So last year or 2023 was one of the largest years for the largest amount of annuities ever sold in history because they're giving more back to the clients. They have evolved. They have a change. They have changed. They're amazing. And we always said, Hey, let's put it in our portfolio for a little bit. Some clients I did, some clients I did not, but now more than ever, if we don't put the annuity in your portfolio, we are mistaken Yeah, because a 5.7% guaranteed fixed rate is nothing to balk at, right? For five years. Why, why wouldn't that be part of our bond cash management portfolio strategy? I think what happens is people get a bad taste in their mouth, Randy, because of what mom and pops had. And they had one of those immediate annuities. They, they are awful. I really okay. dislike them. I'm one of those people. I agree with you. But they, they're not those ones. There's different kinds of ones. The ones we're talking about are ones that are not illiquid. They, they have liquidity. They have growth. I'm not talking about two and 3% growth, like the old school ones. I'm talking about, you know, October, November, and December are on average, our clients who are in the S and P 500 index annuity, they made eight to 9% Interesting. during that time period that, I mean, hello, that was their bond replacement. And what do bonds do? Uh, not that, right? Yeah, yeah. So no, the, the nuances and the different kinds don't get stuck in the old school thoughts because it has changed and they're ever evolving and they are a competing asset class to bonds because people don't want their money in bonds and bonds are going to be a tough road to hoe. This is why we talk about retirement target date funds. Those are not good portfolios in 401ks because they're loaded in bonds the closer you get to retirement. So, you know, being educated is the most important thing. And I will tell you, 
when people come in and see us, Randy, we've talked about the 40, 30, 20, 10 portfolio because mm-hmm. it's 60, 40 portfolio is gone. There's no, you should not have a 60, 40 portfolio. You should not. That's old school. And I, I'm going to use the credibility when I went to, to Yale University and I did my radio interview with a finance professor. They said the 60, 40 portfolio is dead. I've been working with these guys for years now and their story hasn't changed since 2018. And it is true, right? Maybe 10 years from now, maybe if something changes, but with the ever-changing confusion, are interest rates going up? Are they going down? Are they going up? That is stress. And that is not a stress for your retirement, knowing what the heck your bonds are doing, if that's what you're pulling income from. That That is not a plan. That is just an investment that isn't working and might not work for a while. So you need to spread it out. 60, 40, no go, no more. You guys hearing me? Let's go 40, 30, 20, 10. And maybe 20% goes in annuity. Maybe only 40% goes into equities. Maybe of that 40, 20% goes into dividend stocks. And the other one's growth stocks if you want 40% of your portfolio in risk. The the other 30% can go into an income-producing cash management program. That's our treasuries and CDs and notes, right? So we're, we're, we're talking about income checks. 60% of your money should be providing some sort of guaranteed income and withdrawal strategy. The other 40, if you want it in the stock market and you want it at risk, that's okay because you're going to be able to pull money from that, but not when a market goes down. So annuities, the definition is annuitization and income stream. So in retirement, we are focused on growth, but we're also focused on those income checks and you need at least three to four of them coming at you that aren't going to stop no matter what the stock market does. So don't get stuck in a rut. Don't put your head in the sand and just ignore it because of old school strategies. You need to be educated when you come in and see us. I'll even give you a book to help you get educated because before you even are allowed to go into an annuity in the Zinnia Wealth Management Office, you have to read this book and we will quiz you on it because we want to make sure that in the future you understand what you're getting, you understand why we're getting it, et cetera. And that's part of our plan. Well, two points. I think it's very interesting that more annuities were sold last year than any other year in history. And mm-hmm. one of the reasons for that is the interest rates went up. And this is one of the financial vehicles that benefits from a higher interest rate. They're paying more now. That's why everybody's jumping in them. And I mean, if I were to say this is the stock that everybody needs to be, everybody would rush to that, right? But if All you right. say... Every- This is what you need to be in for income. And you mentioned an annuity. Everybody goes, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) So I I actually, I heard a story one time. I want to have everything set out there for me on the table so that I know what's available and I can say yes or no. And, and somebody said one time to me, if you were going in for an operation, they're wheeling you in on the gurney and you're you're in there and you look around and you see the nurses with the masks over their head and all the chrome and everything around there. And the doctor walks in and there's a tray of tools there that he's going to use on you. And he walks in and he's got his hands in the air like they always do because they just washed and he's got his rubber gloves on. And he looks at right before you're going to go to sleep. He looks and says, take one third of those tools and get them out of here. And the nurse says, we might need those tools. He goes, I don't like those tools get them out of here and then you go wait a minute and you fall asleep (laughs) that's basically what you're doing you're saying take one third of the tools for my retirement off the table i don't like them because of what they're called yeah you know what it's what the tool does is you know? what the tool does. And you know what? We can fill that horse trough full of water. We can lead the horse to the horse <laughs> trough. That doesn't mean the horse has got to drink, right? Yeah, yeah. But if he doesn't drink, what's going to happen? Things are going to get derailed. Mm-hmm. And we don't want that to happen to you in your retirement. Let's look at all the tools. At least be open to talking about what's out there. You get the yes or no. Of course, it's your retirement. Let's look at everything that's available to make it right. Give us a call. Give us a look at our website, ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A, Wealth.com, or 833-368-3680. Thanks for listening to the Retirement Coffee Talk podcast. If you have questions or would like to begin the process of building a tailored retirement plan, call Zinnia Wealth at 803-368-3680 or find us online at ZinniaWealth.com. Sharice Rivers is an investment advisor representative of Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Exposure to ideas and financial vehicles discussed should not be considered investment advice or recommendation to buy or sell any financial vehicle. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Investments can fluctuate and when redeemed may be worth more or less than when originally invested. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if Sharice Rivers is licensed in your state, please contact their office. Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC, is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration 
administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Any client experiences discussed during this show are unique to that client. They are not meant to imply or suggest you will experience the same results. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Sharice Rivers, NPN Insurance License Number 8718011.